denizens of the internet. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My name is Ace. So, this episode's gonna be shorter, because I have to go back in here and do a bunch of exposition, copyright music, all that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Fuck you two. Anyway, your your fucking ghoul's dead. But on the plus side, so is the plague bearer. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. Just proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. Right on. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Yeah, well, I hope this next one actually knows how to fight, because the last one didn't. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. So I'm, like, more interested in you. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the can. I was new to it all back then. Not a whole lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not anarchs anymore. So what do you think? Is it worth it? That's a stupid question. Freedom doesn't come cheap. At any time, you gotta be ready to defend it. A lot of blood's been shed for what we have. So you got any advice? All right, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, the thing to do is to let them come in for the attack first, and dodge it or take it in the gut. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill, but I doubt it. So what'd you find out? Everybody was dead. Whatever was in that box killed everybody. At least it looks that way. No kidding. Well, I guess there's got to be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla is going to be scraping for answers when this gets out. So, what do you think? It's in the air, all right. I've been around longer than most kids, and I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. Okay. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. Yeah, but it 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 doesn't look right. So other than that, what else is new? Uh, still working for shithead. Where are you headed now? Oh, I gotta go find some crazy asshole who locked himself in his house. So a Malk's gone AWOL. With that caught LaCroix off guard, I don't know how he's dodged a hundred years of sunrise. So I need some info. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. What's on your mind? The uh, juice bags. What about them? Now what do you think of them? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but, you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport, either. But they do tend to get in the way. Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. Moving right along. So, uh, the, the law and order, dickheads. Oh, my favorite topic. So what do you know about LaCroix? Out of hell with LaCroix. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince. He's a prince. Guessing you dealt with dickweeds like him before? He's a typical Ventru asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, oh, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. 
Okay, what about his goon? Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped up gorilla. So is it the whole fucking Camarilla you hate, or just the assholes at the top? I'm not saying let's go torch the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. Okay, so... In that case, how do you know where to stop? Camarilla membership is 95% victims, 5% evil bastards. But make sure and understand, any of those victims points a gun at me, they get drained and slaughtered like sheep. So technically, since I'm working for this cocksucker, does that include me? Hey man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young, but there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. Yeah, well, answers ain't easy. Being dead is no excuse for walking around with your eyes closed. True. Moving right along. What's on your mind? What's up? Nah, I'm just gonna get out of here. Thanks, Jack. Later. Okay, so I'm cutting that one there. Catch you guys in the next one, which will be shortly. Sorry this one was so brief, but copyright. Blah, blah. Later.